Hello. Um, so finally, one week post-op. Um, okay, so I'll start with stats first for anyone who just comes here to be like, oh, hey, what's up? What's your stats? All right, so here they are. My highest weight was 230. Surgery weight was 203. Current weight, 200 pounds. 200. I'm almost to Wonderland. And my surgery was 01, 16, 2017. There was something else I was going to put on there, and I don't remember what it was. Um, as far as I'm feeling after surgery, I started off kind of rough, wasn't feeling great, miserable. Now it's getting better day by day. I still feel kind of like, like sometimes pulling or when I stand up, it kind of hurts, but not hurt. It's more of a discomfort than it is of an actual pain, but um, I have cut back on like everything, like Tylenol, only take it if like I'm desperate, the Oxy. Lately I've been taking it more when I, oh, excuse me, when I go to bed, just cause it really helps my body relax and get more comfortable. It does keep me up, so I probably should take it a little sooner, but I want it to work out to where I'm not having a bunch of meds at the same time kind of thing. Um, giving myself Lovenox shots, it's not so bad. Sometimes I'm like, eh, you know, sometimes it's a little tougher to get the needle to go in, but it, it hasn't been bad. Um, I still have my Steri strips on. They're staying on. They actually covered those with Band-Aids. Um, so the first time I took a shower, I think they were, yeah, the first time I took a shower, the Band-Aids came off. But the Steri strips are still kind of sticking to the incision areas. Um, around them's a little peeling, and I'm just, I don't feel comfortable taking those out yet. So I'm just going to leave them until they fall off, or until the doctor rips them off, whatever. It is, like, upper, mid, right side area is where it hurts the most. You know, if it, if it hurts. <laughs> um... So it's, I don't know, it's uncomfortable. And I want to, I'm a stomach sleeper, and I want to lay on my stomach so bad. Like, I'll try laying on part of my side and part of my other side, and it's not very comfortable. Last night I was a lay, able to lay on my left side for a little longer than usual, and a little more on the side than kind of partway. And... I thought that was okay, you know. It's the other side, the right side I have trouble with. It's pretty bad. Um, and when I get up, especially in the morning, it's like, oh, And I'm just so tired, I don't sleep very well, I wake up a lot in the middle of the night. Not even to go to the bathroom, like even my bladder's gotten better. But, ugh, just frustrating. So frustrating. Um, let's see. So getting my 60 plus grams of protein in has not been easy. I got really sick drinking my shakes, like, not like wanting to vomit, like, not that I vomited, but I wanted to vomit. Like, it just, ugh, just the taste of them and the thought of even having to drink them grosses me out even now. So, um, I found at Walmart, uh, 20 grams for a bottle of, uh, Atkins Lift that's like a berry drink and I can handle that because I handle water really well. It doesn't sit heavy. It goes down smooth. The only thing I don't like about them is like it has like a film that covers my tongue and kind of sticks like a mucus. It's, it's gross. But it it's almost like a gelatin. Like if you were to lick a powdered gelatin and it got wet on your tongue it's like that's kind of like what it would feel like it's weird little tiny bitsy pieces and I heard they go sour if you open it and leave it out so you have to keep them refrigerated when you open them um but I I haven't had a problem um I actually just finished my first one a little bit ago so it took me between 10 and almost one to finish it uh, I do still have to drink, like, regular protein. Otherwise, I'm drinking three of these bottles a day. 
I don't think I can drink three of these bottles a day, let alone a protein shake. It's like I'm not hungry at all, but my mind is hungry. My mind wants me to chew. I have one more week till I can chew. Um, I can't wait for that moment. Like, for real. Cannot wait to be able to chew. I'm looking forward to eggs. Um, I don't know. I've done some weird stuff, like, like licked a honey... Gluten-free honey pretzel. I licked the outside of it, gave the pretzel to my dog. <laughs> it's it's this one little stick, and I, I just for flavor, I needed something. And I licked some peanut butter. I had a mint, like like one of those soft mints, like, I don't know if you can see that. And I know it's not good, it's sugar and all. But I, it didn't really affect me when it went down. Probably has a very little amount of sugar. Um as far as sugars go, but the little tiny chunks, because it kind of, it dissolved really fast in my mouth, even though I was kind of like licking it as I went, and the little tiny chunks just went down. It hurt a little bit, but they were small chunks, not like big chunks. So I'm sure they went in okay, and they dissolved, so, you know, it's not like, it's not like they stayed big chunks and mucked everything up. They didn't. It just hurt a little, kind of like eating little tiny stones. Um, I know it probably wasn't the best thing to do, but it's like, you get desperate. You know, two weeks before on a liquid diet, I mean, I can't imagine for those have to do a liquid diet longer. And then two weeks after, it's like I'm dying inside. I am looking at recipes like trying to eat through osmosis. <laughs> Like, for real, I'm like, oh, that looks good. I mean, even if I can never eat that ever again because it's fattening, it looks good. And then I was also looking at recipes for low-carb, high-protein and stuff. And I found um, a good one. One lady on here made, like, a ricotta bake dish. Um, I'm not sure if I can have, like, spaghetti sauce, though. Um... Or flavorings. I don't know. I, I have no idea. It says nothing in my packet about if we can add, like, garlic or whatever we like to taste in it when we reach um, that phase where we can have eggs and ricotta cheese. So I'm like, I don't know. We'll see. I guess I can ask the doctor. I do see the doctor Friday for my follow-up. And so we'll see. We'll see then. Um... I know I say um a lot. I try to think. What else do I want to talk about? Um, 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 um. <laughs> I don't know. Ugh, it's been so difficult. I, I felt so crummy and I'm getting better and I just want to eat food. Um, so there, for anyone who knows, there are recipes out there for, you just got to look for each stage that you're at. Um, I write a lot of recipes down. Uh, that I find helpful, that I like, just so I can cook them or try to make a healthier version. Um, there I go with the damn mom again. Uh, yeah, so, so I've been doing that, which helps. Um, I'm going to kill myself with this. Um, I just can't think today. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. So I cooked dinner for my grandparents and it smelled amazing now even though it was high in carbs I did put a little aside for myself for later and what it was was some marinara sauce or spaghetti sauce whatever you like flavored that put it in the skillet and put my grandmother's meatballs in there because she had meatballs cooked up pre-cooked and put cheese on it, um, heated it up a little in the pan, stuck it in the broiler for a few minutes till it was like a little browned on top, sprinkled it with some cilantro and a little bit of more garlic powder just for flavor. And they love, my grandparents love that. I also made them a mac and cheese. Now, I like gluten-free stuff. I'm not sure um, 
like I know corn's considered a carb instead of a vegetable, but in moderation, I almost wonder if I can handle it because I, I make a lot of corn pasta, gluten free pastas. This time it wasn't. My grandmother also had just macaroni noodles made. She was looking to get rid of stuff in the refrigerator or make something with whatever. So I made uh, mac and cheese and you mix it with eggs and milk. So there's good protein in that. Uh, you f I guess you can flavor it with salt, pepper, whatever you want. And then there's breadcrumbs on top. Now I use panko. And again, I'm not sure if I'll be able to use that later on or if I have to be in moderation. Uh, I guess, you know, if you have like a special day in your week where you eat something a little out of the ordinary, um, that would be a good, good one, I guess. So the breadcrumbs I mixed with like a whole bunch of different flavorings and kind of seared them in the pan to get them more crispy. Threw it on top, stuck that in the oven. It came out great. They loved it. My grandfather likes stewed tomatoes more, but I figured you don't need stewed tomatoes with the marinara. Or whatever. <laughs> so there's leftovers, so he can have stewed tomatoes with it now if he wanted. So I put a couple meatballs aside and very little bit of the mac and cheese aside and threw it in the freezer. Uh, my grandmother made a chicken dish the other day, and I put a little of that aside for myself in the freezer. And yeah, I just felt bad. Like, I, I like cooking for everyone, and my grandmother sometimes cooks, and she was running out of ideas and things to do, so I felt really, really bad that since I can't eat, everyone else is suffering, and that's why I'm like, I'm going to cook. I'm just going to do it. And I did, and they loved it, and I wish I could have eaten it because I am so craving something to eat. Like, physically eat. <laughs> so sick of drinking. But, uh, yeah, so it came out well. So, fingers crossed that, you know, all goes well. I'll be able to eat soon, in like a week, I hope. I hope the doctor says I can. I would hate for him to be like, no, you should continue this stupid liquid diet and wait off on the eggs another week. That would be awful. Uh, he's just been really urging, urging me to get my proteins in. He said, it helps the healing, and I know it does. It's just really hard when you're not physically hungry on the inside, and up here it's like, you're dying. <laughs> my brain is telling me, you must eat food. You must eat food. <laughs> so it's kind of like where I'm at with that just so frustrating <laughs> turning into a hangry person or something <laughs> um so with the weight loss I notice I'm losing my double chin that's probably like where I notice it most I really don't notice it anywhere else um I think there's still a little swelling around the stomach that's still healing um it's weird because this the right side this is my right i know it's probably opposite because i see it's opposite on there like a mirror not even a mirror just flipped version of me <laughs> yeah, flipped version of me so on my right side it's all puffy not puffy you know it's it's normal i guess for after surgery it's where most of your incisions are and then over here, there's like, if I take a shower and lift up my boob, <laughs> there's like a dent almost, smoothed out dent. And I was like, oh, well, maybe that's where like my stomach sat before. It just looks funny. Because over here, it's like, and then over here, it's like, <laughs> anyway, so there's that. I'm still, since I'm still taking those shots, I have not shaved. I look like a Wally Mammoth. It's awful. I need to shave. <laughs> Please. No, I got, I got a few more days left of those shots. So anyone who has to take them real easy, and I always say, go slow. I've found that as a pointer from someone. One of the nurses didn't go slow on this side. And 
I have a little bit of a bruise there. I'm like, see, that wasn't for me. Any bruise I get is like pin size. It's tiny. Doesn't get bigger. But most of the time, usually I only get a bruise if I go in like where stretch mark is. And it, it doesn't, it doesn't grow. So there, there might be some bruising tenderness, but those shots aren't bad. Um, so medications that I'm taking, Tylenol, Oxycodone, there's Omprazol, some kind of nausea pill, and the Lovenox. I think that's it. I haven't been able to take um, any vitamins yet. No B12 shots yet. I guess all that stuff comes, will eventually come along. Um, as far as temperature goes, it kind of wavers between normal, below normal, a little above normal. Like I've hit 99.4 like this morning, but that could have been after my shower. But every once in a while I hit 99.4. And yeah, I'm going to oddly take my temperature right now, just because I seriously want to check it. Ninety-eight oh. So, go figure. My temperature, it's normal for me for my temperature to run kind of low. I only have one kidney. So it's, it's normal to waver between normal and below. Not bad. As long as it doesn't go up or super, super low, I think I'll be okay. Let's see. So, I think my dog is running out in the yard somewhere because my grandfather, I hear him yelling, which usually means he's trying to get my dog to hurry up and get inside because he likes to eat rabbit poop. My dog loves rabbit poop. And that started, okay, he has bladder stones that he gets from his food. Like if he eats protein, he gets these bladder stones. They're awful. And they were really bad. And he, I know he has some still, but they're not as prominent and probably are capable of passing at the moment. But ever since he got the surgery and had to change his diet to this prescription diet, it's like he's missing vitamins and nutrients because that's when he started. That's when he started to uh, eat rabbit poo. So that's that's lovely, right? Dog eating poo. At least he doesn't eat his own. There's dogs that do that. It's gross. <laughs> I don't know. If, if you guys want to cut off the video now, I don't care. I just like talking. You know, you get kind of cabin feverish. Um, I'm not sure when I'll be able to go back to work. Like, that's been one of my biggest fears is going back to work. Because without the lifting and the pulling, it's like, how am I going to do my job? I work at a grocery store. <laughs> my whole job's lifting and pulling no matter where I am. Um, even at the register, we've got some elderly customers that are like, can you lift this for me? You got this? No, I can't lift it for you. I'm not allowed. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to have someone like be with me at all times. <laughs> but I need, I'm like, I need money. I need to go back to work. And you know what drives me crazy? It's like, I watch other people's videos and look how happy, happy, happy they are after surgery, like a day after surgery. Like, how? How are you not in like pain and agony? I didn't even want to make a video until I was home and a little more comfortable. You know, like, I don't get it. grandfather must be moving his truck. I don't know. Don't know what's going on. Yeah, he's moving his truck. Um, so yeah, like, I don't know how people were so happy, happy. I mean, I'm a little more perky now. Exhausted because I don't sleep very well, but perky. But how did anybody be perky after surgery? <laughs> I don't know. I was, in, I was in so much pain. I felt like my insides were ripped apart. And in a sense, they kind of were. Uh, mm hmm. So that. Uh, can't wait to lose more weight. 
that's going to be exciting. Oh, if I ever get the chance, like when I do start eating, I'm probably going to do some cooking videos. Uh, and some might be a copy from other videos that are out there. Um, just because sometimes they don't show up on other people's inquiries. And I figured anyone who's watching mine, I can pass along some great recipes. And I'll be sure to mark where I got them from and give credit to the people who actually established them. Uh, I think it's a great way because, you know, some, some videos pop up on others' feed and, and there's others that don't. It's just random, especially with depending on your surgery, depending on what you search. So I think that would be a good idea. And anything that I improvise myself. Excuse me. So, um, yeah, that'll be to come eventually, maybe. My grandfather. <laughs> the latest trick, still. So, I think that's all that I have to talk about. Otherwise, I'm just babbling on about stuff because I have no one to talk to right now. I actually have to study because I have to take my proctored exams, well, my retakes, and I'll probably fail because I'm really bad at studying, really bad at that motivation, and it's pretty bad. <laughs> so I'll probably be dropping my program. I might switch to something else. Uh, for those who don't know, I'm in a vet tech program with Penn Foster. It sucks teaching yourself, but I don't have a school near me. And so if I do have to switch, I can always go back to vet tech later on in life, or not, or really want to work with animals, and then part of me kind of doesn't anymore, just because I feel like a failure. So I'll probably change to, like, childhood development. It ch part of me really wants to be ch work with children, I love kids, but the other part of me is like, am I going to have the energy to work with kids? So maybe that's something that'll come eventually, too, it, with losing weight, is getting them more energy. So, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Wish me luck. Anyway, peace.